after taking a tough loss against the Chicago Bulls, the Milwaukee Bucks are back, taking on the Detroit Pistons and the Memphis Grizzlies in this episode. So, without further ado, let's get right into this episode. So taking a look at the player stats for the Milwaukee Bucks, Jabari Parker leading all scorers with 17.8, Brandon Knight trailing right behind him with 17.4, and OJ Mayo with 14.4 points. So I just want to thank you guys for the tremendous support on this series, man. Well, at this moment in time, the last episode has over 100 likes, man. That means a fifth of you guys, that means 20% of the people who saw that episode ended up liking it so thank you guys for all the support so first game against the Pistons today I will be using the simcast feature here in my GM if we're winning the game I'm not gonna sub in but if we are losing in the fourth quarter I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in and so far so good 85 72 make that 90 to 86 we are gonna walk out of this game with a W beating the Detroit Pistons in the first game so the Milwaukee Bucks are looking pretty satisfied. All the players are looking pretty content in their current situation, except for Giannis Antetokounmpo. So, he wants uh, some more minutes, and that is definitely something that I could probably promise him, considering Giannis is a player who is, has a lot of potential and really needs to develop and grow in this league. So, at the press conference... We get a question about Giannis Antetokounmpo. I really don't want to have any drama on this team, so I'm going to go ahead and not even answer that question. No comment. So we are going to go ahead and use that SimCast feature yeah, one more time in this episode. Now, I know you guys want to see a full game, but you guys are going to enjoy what you're about to see. So here we are. This game is pretty much close all the way through. Now in the fourth quarter, three minutes remaining. This game's tied at 65. Let's dive into it. So before I get into this game, I just want to make sure that you guys smash that like button if you guys want to see more of these episodes. If I keep on getting support like that last episode with over 100 likes, you guys can expect these episodes pretty much daily. I was trying so hard to get this episode out to you guys last night, but uh, my computer just couldn't handle it, man. And uh, video would have been up really late at night. I feel like many of you guys probably would have been asleep since it was a school night. But that is none of the worries right there. 71-70 now. Zach Levine has the ball. Bait and switch right here. Pull up J. Buckets at the free throw line. So 72-71. 47 seconds left. Conley kicks up to Carter. Carter pump fake. Going in. Back to Conley. Conley buckets. No. Misses. Zach Randolph Zebo getting the shot right there. So 73-72. Now this has to be a game one at the free throw line. Tayshawn Prince would end up hitting both free throws at the line, extending the lead to three points for the Memphis Grizzlies. So the Milwaukee Bucks do not want to lose another one, and they got to try to force this to overtime or even try going for the win. Now, this ball is either going to Brandon Knight, OJ May, or Jabari. Knight gets it off the inbounds, thinking about the pull-up J. Brings it back out of the three-point line. Puts up the three. Got it to go. 75-75. Three seconds left on the clock. Brandon Knight as clutch as can be knocking down the three right there so three seconds left we are praying that they can't make a shot good defense Mike Conley misses the go-ahead basket right there so 75 75 we are heading into overtime in this one so Jared Sollinger and Marcus all at the tip Jared Sollinger would end up winning that tip off right there handing the ball to Brandon Knight So Brandon Knight trying to get some quick offense Whoever gets the quickest start in this overtime period will ultimately end up winning the game Now we find Jabari Parker He gets the pick right there now Parker at the free throw line dribbling around puts up the shot over Marcus Gasol Getting it to go making it a two-point game. So I just wanted to say uh, NBA season starts today, which is absolutely crazy Let me know what Opening game you guys are planning on watching uh, watching today or what games are you most excited for this week? Also NBA Live 15 is coming out today should have an NBA Live 15 video up very soon I believe if uh, everything goes as planned now Tayshawn Prince knocking down the jump shot man 83 81 in this one Brandon Knight up to OJ orange juice Mayo has the ball finds Parker down low and he's gonna get hard fouled right there by Tayshawn Prince. Tayshawn Prince with no regrets on that one, going hard on Jabari Parker. Now Giannis attempts a key throw. What 
what a huge dunk right there really gave us motivation and just gave us just got us hyped up now OJ Mayo dunking the ball right there tying this game at 85 apiece so with 14 seconds left on the clock, OJ Mayo is going to get the foul right there. Sending Tayshaun Prince, the veteran in the NBA, to the free throw line. Ultimately sinking the first free throw. He's got to miss this one. Please, please, please. And he's going to miss it. Jabari with a clutch rebound. No timeouts are necessary. Jabari backs up. Three pointer. Got it to go. In and out and then back in. One more time. Jabari Parker just... I mean, as a rookie, he's been playing phenomenal for us in this one. And with that, we are heading in to double overtime. So here we are. Four minutes left in this game. It's all or nothing. Brandon, I guess the pick. Go into the rim for the jam right there. That's not really something you see from Brandon Knight too often. And now right here, OJ Mayo finds Giannis. Giannis Edekupo has the ball back to Mayo. Mayo, finds Evan Turner right here. And Evan Turner is going to end up knocking down the jump shot right there. So, 92-90 in this one. Make that 94-92. Memphis Grizzlies have just have to score the ball, which they end up doing to Mark Gasol right there. Now, right here, we've got OJ Mayo driving in, kicking it back out. Brandon Knight bouncing, 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 and it's good. Knocking down the three right there. All right, here we are, man. 96-99. Make that 98-99 as Zebo is going to hit that clutch shot with less than a minute and a half remaining in this game. Now, with a minute 20 left, we're just burning out the clock right here, man. Juicing that clock. And with four seconds left, OJ Mayo puts up the terrible shot right there. Gets it to go on that superstar difficulty. Man, that shot made it looks terrible. But, you know, it's NBA 2K. Some, sh some shots just go in no matter how bad they are. Now, Zebo going to get blocked right there. 14 seconds left on the shot clock, 37.7 seconds left on the game clock with a 23 second shit clock difference. Now right here, Mike Connolly has the ball. They gotta put in a quick three or else this game is just done for. Prince gets a good look right there, but it gets altered by Giannis Antetokounmpo. Now, Tayshaun Prince didn't miss a clutch free throw at the beginning of this game, and he's gonna miss yet another clutch free throw at the end of this game. Let's go. Missing the second free throw. No, he gets it to go. So 99-9-101 right now. 31 seconds left. Brandon Knight has the ball. And we are trying to avoid the foul, which we do. Brandon Knight's speed is just too deadly. Bring it back out of three-point line. We've got 16 seconds to burn off of the clock right here. And we're just dribbling around, man. Just enjoying our time. Walking out of this game with the second win in a row. Making our record five and three on the season. I am proud of the Milwaukee Bucks. I'm proud about what the job I've done to this team as the GM. Rebuilding this team and making this team a contender in the NBA. And right here, too little too late, man. Conley's gonna get nervous and turn over the ball right there. We are gonna walk out of here with a W with a demanding victory against the Memphis Grizzlies. 99 to 103. OJ Mayo has the ball gonna just dribble it out to victory now after Jabari gets fouled right there I mean these free throws no matter if he misses it or if he makes it this game is well over making the first free throw 99-104 and we would end up making the second free throw making it a 99 to 105 game so this is definitely one of the longer episodes I mean I wanted to add another game into this episode but I felt like this episode would be too far over 10 minutes if I had done that so you guys can expect a few games in the next episode as well, as this video is going to be about 10 and a half minutes long. So, taking a look at this, I need your guys' help. Should I play the game against the Thunder, the full game, or a full game against the Orlando Magic? Let me know in the comment section down below, just comment Thunder or Magic, and I will be sure to play with that team. So, as you guys can see, the player morale is looking phenomenal for the Milwaukee Bucks. I mean, Giannis Antetokounmpo is feeling a little happier about being on this team. Now, something I really wanted to raise um, for the Milwaukee Bucks as a GM is the t fan interest. Now, I feel like the ticket prices are a little too high, as well as the parking prices. So, if we lower down the prices on these uh, on the tickets and parking, more fans will want to come to the game, and the fan interest is going to raise by so much. So, we are going to lower down the price, to, not by much, a couple of dollars, three, four, maybe five bucks here and there, and... Uh, just try to get that fan interest up, and ultimately, I think with more fans and more interest, is definitely going to raise a profit for this team. So I feel like it's a great move, uh, making the tickets and the parking a little bit cheaper.
Now with that being said, thank you guys for all the support, man. 10 minute episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, man, comment what you guys want to see in the next episode. But that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'm out. do it for the end. I do it because it's in. Me, it's all love and I do it for the win. If I was about to lose me a 12 round bout and I ain't know nothing about boxing, I bet I figure it out. I'm allergic to losing. Been a drill, don't make nothing to take the sick feeling in my stomach away. Who wanna be second place? But well, you can get it on, want it? Cause when first come up, I got dibs up on it. For sure. For it ain't sure. an IET. Sure. No. I'm going